Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And it is a month of beginnings. That really is the key word. And the reason is because we normally think of new moons as the sense of things beginning again that sense of the seeds that you plant and where it is that new opportunities could find you. Well, this month begins on a new moon and it ends on a new moon as well. They are in different parts of the sky. One new moon, the one late in the month, is one that I think you are absolutely going to love. You are going to be one of the signs to most benefit from that supremely wonderful energy. And I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. But this is the kind of month where, in many ways, a lot of us are going to feel like we've gotten a reboot, that we get that chance to begin again in more than one area of life. So let's start with that first new moon right out of the gate. Now, it does take place right around the 1st of August. You want to give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. But most people, it's happening on the 1st. And it is this new moon that is happening close in the sky with Venus. Now this in and of itself and under normal circumstances is a beautiful energy. However, we have a wild card factor here and that is the fact that this new moon is speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. Now that brings with it change, but also a sense of challenge, perhaps even frustration a sense that things have to change and there can be motivation there, which is a beautiful way to use this energy. However, it can be motivation that is rooted in knowing that things could be better and they could be better because they are not great now. Now for you, this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with, um, on the one hand, it has to do with transformation, being more honest with yourself, being uh, brazenly bold and searing as you search within to understand your truest motivations. Another part of this energy is connected to regeneration. Uh, a reboot, if you will, uh, becomes that much more likely for you. This part of the sky is also connected to your understanding of the resources available to you, your understanding of wealth, emotional, spiritual, and practical wealth, as well as your relationship with financial institutions. And so, Imagine having to deal with a financial institution with this very unpredictable energy. Ideally, we want to see more stable skies. Thankfully, they are right around the corner. In fact, I would say that about a week after this new moon, we have such an energy of blessing coming in to the same part of the sky where it might have felt particularly frustrating around the days of the new moon. And so that is something that you can be hopeful about and where you need to have those financial talks, where it is that you need to fill out important financial documents even, or you're attempting to access resources to access funding. If at all possible, try not to do it in the days immediately surrounding this new moon. In fact, I would say just wait a full week before you start to take those steps. Now, what's especially exciting though here is that this is where you start to identify the need. Identify the need to reach out to the people that perhaps can be part of moving you towards greater wealth. Now, this part of the sky, as I said, is also connected to knowing that you are cared for. That is a big part of this energy and where it is that you are hoping to have that affirmation. It may surprise you to see whom it is that you have questions about, but also whom it is that can come through for you with an incredible amount of emotional support and affirmation just when you need it. This can be a highly regenerative time, meaning that you may find yourself able to make leaps and bounds towards meaningful change in many areas of your life, personally, psychologically, and literally as well, as you identify what isn't working for you. And in so doing, you end up empowering yourself tremendously. 
Now, as we navigate to the middle of the month, we are going to have the full moon, this month's full moon. And this full moon is also happening in a financial part of your sky, but this has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. This part of the sky is also connected to self-esteem and self-worth. Now, this full moon is standing across the sky from Venus and Mars. And Venus and Mars both, being that they're at the very end of the sign that they're in, well, that magnifies their energies that much more. And ultimately, what this says to me is compromise, a need to consider other perspectives. And because this is all financial energy here for some people, there may be a thought at this time of where it is that you can either attract investors or where it is that you can attract a grant of some kind so that you can ultimately align with what it is that you're really wanting to do in order to earn more money. There might be some idea around this time that the more you spend, the more you earn, or that in some way you want to put more into uh, so that you can get more out. You might be thinking about making an investment that you hope will pay off. Well, this is something that you're gonna have to navigate with care from the start of the month and well through the middle of the month as well, as this is gonna be an ongoing conversation, an ongoing exploration. This part of the sky being connected to self-esteem and self-worth, well, very likely you're doing a lot of inner work at this time to find that healthy sense of self-respect. And it is work that very well could pay off. Now, what's happening around this full moon though is a big deal as well, because in the days leading up to the full moon, we have two big power players changing directions, and that is Jupiter going direct and Uranus going retrograde. The fact that these two planets are changing directions essentially magnified in energies right as we lead up to that full moon makes it that much more a powerful time. And it does also suggest, because Uranus is the ruling planet of the sign this moon is in, that there is a connection between where Uranus is and this full moon is happening. So Uranus, as I spoke about in the Uranus special horoscope for your sign, I talked about how this is a part of the sky that has to do with understanding what you're passionate about, understanding what you truly desire, and what it is that you truly want in just about every area of life? What is it that's gonna make your heart sing? What is it that's gonna allow you to feel like you are living true to your heart? Well, the energy this month says, you are going to find those answers more clearly as you root yourself in a healthy sense of self-love and you are willing to change. That will move you that much more towards connecting with your truest desire. But this is Uranus going retrograde, which means that you will spend the next few months going within, searching your soul a little bit more deeply to find these answers. As we navigate late into the month, right at the very end of the month, we are going to have another new moon. Now this new moon really is a high point. It is happening close in the sky with Mars, Venus, and Mercury. Now this is a concentration of energy, and when we have such concentrated energy of so many planets together, it means that what is transpiring isn't limited to one area of life, but rather, even though the events may come through an area of life, there's a certain sweeping understanding of what is transpiring. Well, it is gonna be this new moon speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. That really is the great news. This is an energy of luck, of delight, of surprises that make you feel like you've stumbled upon just a, a wonderful turn of events. And this may very well have you feeling as if things can turn around very quickly and very much to your advantage. This new moon is happening in fellow Earth sign Virgo, which means you will be able to benefit from this energy that much more than others might. And this is a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world. It is a long distance travel immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, even political matters covered here as well. You may find yourself on some sort of an exploration or uh, gaining a new opportunity in these very areas. 
If it is that you are looking to undertake a new matter related to these areas that I mentioned, this is wonderful energy to use. If it is that you are starting an educational journey, this would be great energy to tap into for your first orientation sessions or just connecting with your new professors. There's another layer to this as well that's very powerful and that is uh, with legal matters or submitting important legal documents or applications. This is energy you want to tap into and use because chances are the process is going to end up going that much quicker and you've got that much more cosmic support right out of the gate to have things develop in a way that you like. Where it comes to matters of love, I am going to draw your attention to Mercury. If you remember, we have had and have been having a Mercury retrograde season since mid-June when Mercury was moving forward and then retrograde in and out of your opposite sign. Now your opposite sign has to do with partnerships and attraction. So here we are. We are starting this month on a new moon and within the hour like literally minutes after this new moon takes place under the dark of the moon mercury will go direct in your opposite sign that is very powerful a symbolism for you feeling as if partnership and love is getting a burst of truth but there's a certain intensity to it it's not like the truth that brings light and clarity, but rather it's the truth of the dark of the moon, the truth of what you feel in your most private moments that ultimately is part of what allows you to feel like you're able to move forward where it comes to love. For those of you open to meeting someone new, this can be a very powerful time. I would pay attention to what is going on chances are that what is transpiring as you start this month in some way is reflecting or hearkening to what was taking place for you way back in the middle of june that was when mercury was here in your opposite sign as well this exact spot in the sky and so it could be that someone you might have met at that time pops up again right about now uh, under the dark of this new moon. But it can also be you looking at your own feelings and, and clarifying where you are in love and how it is that you really feel about it. And this new moon is going to help you to be that much more honest with yourself. And also, I do think will help heal any trust issues that might be there as well. For those of you who are getting to know someone, it is Mercury going direct that can be very powerful. There's a sense of clarity, a sense of knowing, a sense of wanting a clear answer. And whether or not you go about pursuing it, chances are the truth, right? Quote unquote, the truth about this person in some way is going to make itself clear to you. Now, what you do with that is always up to you, but it can go one of two ways. Either it's going to make you feel that much more connected to this person or it's going to be clear to you that you want to go in a different direction. And for those of you who are in an established bond, in some way it's going to feel as if a matter having to do with your partner is moving forward, forward from here. And so it may have to do with the relationship. It might not. It could just be that your partner is involved in something or there's been a, a back and forth in their own life, a matter that's been near and dear to them. And even though it doesn't have to do with your relationship or with you directly, it will be nice for you to feel as if at least now your partner knows the way forward from here. But of course it might speak to your bond as well and where it is that an important conversation needs to happen an important clarity needs to happen. Well, it is going to be the energy right out of the gate that helps you to find it. What I love about this month for you, it's got to be that new moon that we end the month with. That is such a beautiful and inspired energy. That really is an energy of possibility and hope and really buoyancy. It lets you know that things can turn around and they can change in a way that's very much to your advantage. Just when you thought that life would stay predictable or that you'd keep moving forward, you are moving forward certainly, but this is where life starts to take on a spirit of adventure. And this looks like an adventure you are very much up for. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.